and I want to encourage you, brethren, please ensure that as you receive this message, you share it with others. Let others gain from what you have received. This is love. When you receive something that is of benefit to you, try and share it with others. Let others partake of these blessings. And you can be sure that your blessings shall be multiplied. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. What shall I say unto my father? It's all I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, all I have to say is thank you for the breath in my lungs. Thank you for the strength in my body. Hallelujah. I am so delighted to be with you again this Sunday, being the first Sunday in the month of September. Today is the fifth day in the month of September, year 2021. And I praise the name of God Almighty for sparing our lives to see this first Sunday in the month of September. His grace will not diminish upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Today I am reading from the book of um, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I will read the first three verses and of course the last verse which is verse 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 3 and verse 13. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong uh, or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing if I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames but have not love, I gain nothing. Verse 13 And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Hallelujah! In our Christian walk in life, we have three pillars of our relationship with God. These three pillars are faith, hope, and love, as recorded in the Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13 says, The greatest among these three, of course, is love. And the Bible makes it abundantly clear for us again that God is love. So there is nothing as great as God, and there is nothing greater than love. God is love. Love is the greatest, and God demonstrates his love towards us in that when we were still sinners, Christ died for us. What a love, what a deep love that God has for us. While we were still sinners, Christ Jesus, died for us. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. Not only that, he says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son for us that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. God gave us a very significant, very important gift. So this month, the month of September, is not only a month of giving, a month of receiving. We are receiving the best because God gave us His best, His only begotten Son, that is Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, to give us salvation, to restore us back to life. 
So this month is a very important month for you and me so that we will experience the love of God. God has demonstrated this to us as sinners. When we were sinners, he gave his son out for us to die for our sins. So I want to assure you that if we are able to receive this gift from God, that is the gift of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is his only begotten Son, then when Jesus comes into our life, he makes the difference. When Jesus comes into our marriage, he makes the difference. He makes the marriage a blissful one. When Jesus comes into our endeavors or our, our uh, undertakings, then we can be sure of success, good success. Prosperity comes our way. That is God for you. And he is ready. He has already offered us that gift. He has already made it abundantly open for us. To accept him is the next thing. So God has offered his love for us. Now let us receive it. He has given us. This is the month of giving and the month of receiving. God has given and he wants us to receive it. And if we receive it into our lives, we can be sure that our lives will never remain the same. If you believe in this message, I want you to close your eyes and let me pray. Let us pray together. God will shower his love upon you throughout this month in the name of Jesus. His love will give your life a meaning in the mighty name of Jesus. Your business will flourish. Your marriage will be successful, will be blissful. Your endeavors will flourish, will be successful in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything you lay your hands upon to do this month, you will surely prosper because God loves you. God is the greatest and love is the greatest. If you love God, if you love God, then you can be sure that it shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your soul. It shall be well with your business. It shall be well with your education. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have prayed. Amen. I am Julius Osiah the Olaika Abbey. By the grace of God, the primate of the African church. God bless you. Welcome back. I am blessed. You are blessed. We are all blessed. Through the ministration of our Father, is eminent Julius Olaika Osayede Habe, JP, Primate of the African Church. May heaven's light continue to be our guide. Join us same day, Sunday, same channel, and same time next week, Sunday, for another wonderful and spirit filled ministration from our Father. May God Almighty be with you. Bless your neighbors and all you lay your hands in this new week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.